Hey guys, in this session we're going to talk about children and spiritual revelation. And I made up a definition here, and I'm talking about over 33 years of ministry and what I've seen in the last 20 years have been quite amazing. And we're talking about kids here today. Spiritual revelation is a striking or conscious disclosure of something not before realized about God and His will for the believer in Christ, and especially children. Adam Stadmiller said this, When they experience God in their gifts... They will be established in their faith. They will begin to create a history of experiences in which God has backed up their faith with his manifest presence. And I love this quote because this is what I've personally witnessed in the last 20 years of ministry. When we move children from what's comfortable, many times they experience God in a new and fresh way. So comfortable is sitting and listening while someone ministers to, to me. What's uncomfortable is... I'm going to train you and I'm going to take you out and you're going to minister and I'm going to step back and watch you and encourage you and pray for you. That's the difference. Children have spiritual revelation when we move them from the standard practices to fully engaging them in missions. I came from a denomination. We had missions education. We taught them about missionaries. We showed the food that missionaries ate. We showed them the clothing, the maps. We prayed for missionaries. But when we trained them how to be missionaries, and we took on mission trips, this is when it was the game changer in so many children's life. When they moved to a new typical, to the Great Commission, they experienced God in ways that they will never exceed by staying inside the church walls. So this is the challenge, guys, is we train about, we talk about the Great Commission. Everybody's called to the Great Commission, including our kids. The greatest harvest field is in our children between ages in 4 to 14 years of age, which is the 414 window, 70% of those who trust Christ internationally are in that age group. But what's also amazing is that age group are the most effective in reaching their generation, the 414 window. All right, they experience the Spirit's power in the midst of ministry and missions. And so what I found was I took on a first group of kids on a mission trip, and I released them and pushed them out of what was comfortable and the Spirit of God showed up so powerfully, I could not believe it. We saw Acts 1-8. We saw children totally dependent on the Lord for one minute and had the Holy Spirit taken over, and they spoke so powerfully through the power of the Holy Spirit. Next, the more difficult the task, the more they experience at times the Holy Spirit's presence and power when they learn to rely on Him fully. Isn't that neat? So the more we push them out, the more we push them out of their comfort zone, the more they experience him in supernatural ways. Well, here's a little video I want you to watch, and I pray that it'll bless your heart. Listen to this leader as she pushed her girls out of what was comfortable to them and what they experienced. I've seen my team as we've prepared on certain days get really fearful, whether it was about sharing their testimony or about teaching a certain lesson. Um, sometimes coming to the point of tears, we have majority girls and one boy, he's our token male, um, and so I've seen them riding on the bus going out, I can't do this, pull me, I mean, don't make me do this today. Um, and through prayer and encouragement, God has really shown up in huge ways and used them. And honestly, on those days when there's the most fears, I've seen God work in the most wide, mighty ways. That's what spiritual revelation is all about. We want kids to experience Jesus Christ in the most powerful ways possible when we release them to minister and as Dad Miller said, as they find their gifts, they discover God's plan and purpose for their lives. I want to share with you about my book. It's available on Amazon. It's called Going Deep, Inviting Children into the Spiritual Depths with God. And this is an excerpt from my book on spiritual revelations. Well, God bless you, and we'll see you next time. <music>